Lecture 3B, Property of the Pure Substance, and we will be doing some numericals. Uh, first numerical, determine whether water at each of the following state is a compressed liquid, a superheated vapor, or a mixture of saturated liquid and vapor. So the only thing what we have to determine is to find like uh, which phase this water is at. So we have been uh, in all these four um, problems, we have been given the two condition and finding this condition in a steam table and then le uh, let's solve it like uh, it, it, at which phase it is, uh, it is existing. So the first thing is like pressure is 10 megapascal and the volume is 0 0.003 cubic meter per kg. So as I said, like uh, in a previous lecture, first thumb rule should be like you have to go to the steam table and steam in a first steam table, you have to go to the saturated uh, steam table. So it's here like the pressure is 10 megapascal and the volume is 0 0.3 cubic meter per kg. So finding the uh, table now, uh, table number four is a saturated water steam water and steam uh, temperature table uh, table number five is actually the pressure table so just checking the unit first so it is in megapascal so uh, finding 10 megapascal now so going down there uh, 10 megapascal would be there at which the saturation temperature is 311 so the second condition which is given is the volume volume of a like uh, volume of a substance water so it is vf and vg over here so just checking the volume now so the volume is 0.003 so if you check the vf value of vf it is 0.001453 so that means our volume which is 0.003 something is above vf now so it is greater than Vf. Now the second volume which is Vg. So we have got volume 0.003 and Vf volume is 0.018034. So which means like our volume is less than Vg now. So that means like our volume which is 0.003 and our pressure which is 10 megapascal is somewhere inside the Vapor dome. So the only thing which actually we need to determine, like whether it's inside the vapor dome or it is uh, in a compressed region or superheat region. So it's a inside the vapor dome. It's in a mixture. So second condition is one megapascal and 190 degrees centigrade. So just going to the same table, if you, if you if you can say like one megapascal is a pressure table. So one megapascal is over here, and the temperature saturation uh, saturation temperature corresponding to 1 megapascal is 179.89 while over here it's written like 190 degrees centigrade so if our temperature our sorry for that so if our given temperature is greater than so to Let, let me put this thing into shape. So that might be again. So if our given temperature is greater than saturation temperature, in our case, it is 190 degrees centigrade, while saturation temperature is 179.89. So that means like our temperature is greater than the saturation temperature. So we are in a superheated condition. So let, let's even confirm it uh, with the uh, temperature table now. Going to temperature table, table number four. So at table number four, just find 190 degrees centigrade. So at 190 degrees centigrade, the saturation pressure is 1.2550 megapascal. So 1.2550 megapascal while our pressure is one megapascal. So our pressure is less than 
the saturation pressure. So in again, if our pressure is less than saturation temperature, so we uh, saturation pressure. So obviously we are again inside in the superheated condition. Uh, going next, actually, um, now going towards the uh, temperature of 200 degrees centigrade and at temperature of 200 degrees centigrade, we need to find out the volume, which is 0.1 cubic meter per kg. So going at 200 degrees centigrade, to, so 200 degrees centigrade. So we have got different volume now, uh, volume VF and volume VG. So volume VF is 0.001565. Uh, our volume is 0 0.1 so obviously our volume is greater than this VF now while our volume is VF uh, 0 0.1 but still less than 0 0.12 so that means like it is less than VG so we are inside the vapor dome and we are in a mixed region so you can check it from here now going to next and that's it like uh, part D. So we have got a uh, pressure which is 10 kilopascal and temperature 10 degrees centigrade. So going for that one, so temperature is 10 degrees centigrade, pressure is 10 kilopascal. So we can use either of the table. So 10 degrees centigrade, if I can check it, 10 degrees centigrade, the pressure is 0 0.001228 which means like the pressure is 1.228 kilopascal so 1.228 kilopascal our pressure is 10 kilopascal so that means like uh, um, the pressure given pressure is greater than the saturation pressure so if we if we have got a pressure which is greater than the saturation pressure so we are in a compressed region now so that's all over it, written over here as well and that's been located on a PV diagram and PT diagram over here as well. Uh, moving forward to another question and that is example um, from any other book and that is like given a vessel with a volume of 0 0.4 cubic meter uh, with a mass of 2 kg having water H2O at a pressure of 600 kilopascal. Find the volume and mass of the liquid and find the volume and mass of the vapor. So if you can check the question itself, it say like find the volume and mass of the liquid, find the volume and mass of the vapor. So that means like in this condition, there must be some volume mass of the liquid as well and there must be some mass of the vapor as well but it will be only and only determined once we actually check our steam table so in that case like we have got a total volume which is 0 0.4 cubic meter and we have got a mass which is 2 kg so if i won't need to find a specific volume so specific volume would be total volume divided by the mass and that would be 0 0.2 cubic meter per kg so now I've got the volume, specific volume, which is two cubic meter per kg, and I've got the pressure, which is 600 kilopascal or 0 0.6 megapascal. So checking in a steam table and checking this volume, let me find out like what would be the, would be, or where we are. So again, first thing first, we have to go to the saturation, uh, saturation table. Saturation pressure table, obviously it is uh, the, the condition is given in a pressure. So that will be 0 0.6, 0 0.6 megapascal and corresponding to 0 0.6 megapascal, our volume is 0 0.2. So that means like this volume is 0 0.0011006, which is like our volume is greater than this one and less than 0 0.31558. So we are inside the vapor dome and the statement would say like find the volume and mass of the liquid and find the volume and mass of the vapor. So that means like it's correct. So we are inside the buffer dome. So just checking, writing these two uh, two values, which is value of VF and VG just over here. So going back to the question. Uh, now, so we have got volume of uh, VF, which is this much, and volume of uh, VG, which is this much. There might be a little bit change in the 
values because it might be like uh, uh, different books use different steam table and there must be a little bit of the um, I mean like the last digit might be different or something like this so that that's not a big issue so we have got VF less than uh, uh, less than v our v and our v is less than obviously vg so we are inside the two phases mixture so if we are having two phases mixture so we can find the quality now so quality would be 0 0.63291 make sure like uh, in your um, um, solving problem you have to go to at least four digit uh, four digits actually so not six obviously so but at least you have to go to the four digits so finding the x value so x is now if you remember x is also equal to x is equal to mass of the vapor divided by the total mass so the total mass is 2 kg mass of the vapor need to be determined we have got x now so if we have got x so we can find the mass of the vapor now so mass of the vapor is 1.26458 if we have got mass of the vapor so the we can find out the mass of the liquid from the total mass minus the mass of the vapor and that would be actually this much now multiplying that mass with the um, with the specific vg and specific vf we can find the total total volume over here total volume of a vapor and total volume of a liquid so this is what actually the what the mass uh, volume and volume of vapor and volume of a liquid is moving forward to uh, another question now uh, given air in a cylinder with a stop and a friction piston with an area of 0 0.2 square meter stop height of 1 meter and a total height of 2 meter at initial state pressure T1 is equal to 200 kilopascal and T1 initial temperature is 500 degrees centigrade with cooling. Find the temperature when the piston reaches the stop and find the pressure if the cooling continues to the temperature of 20 degrees centigrade. So let's say like this is our condition but let me redraw it over here somewhere. So we have got a piston and cylinder arrangement and we have got a piston which is at initial condition uh, which is at 2 meter somewhere 2 meter height uh, so that's our initial condition in which the pressure is 200 kPa and the temperature is 500 degree centigrade now you say like we have got stop which is placed somewhere at the height of one meter that is one meter over here and we have got the bottom somewhere so it's a like it say the piston is initially at two meter with a pressure and temperature of 500 degrees centigrade now it's we start cooling it so once we start cooling it the piston will start moving downward and the piston width reaches at stop over here so once it reach at the stop now uh, as the piston is moving freely so obviously the initial pressure over here would be actually equal to final pressure over here so once it reaches the stop it say like what would be the temperature when it reaches the stop now it say like if the pressure if the cooling continue till 20 degrees centigrade what would be the final pressure so if we still cool the air till 20 degrees centigrade what would be the final pressure so these are three different condition initial condition now the condition at which piston reaches the stop and the condition at which we have got the temperature at 20 degrees centigrade so first thing what we have to do like yes we would need it later on to find the specific volume so let's say if i look at, at the equation which is tv is equal to rt something too sensitive now so p 
v is equal to rt so in any initial condition we would be having p1 v1 would be equal to rt1 so make sure the temperature is in kelvin so it, it's a it's a, a ideal gas equation and the ideal gas equation you have to put the temperature in a absolute scale kelvin scale or rankine scale so for the volume for the total volume so as the stop is at 2 meter and the piston area is 0 0.2 square meter so this would be uh, obviously 2 meter multiplied by 0 0.2 which is square uh, meters so area is 0 0.2 square meter and multiply by 2 meter so that would be 0 0.4 cubic meter uh, moving forward so what we have to do like we have to find the specific volume so in, total volume is 0 0.4 already given specific volume would be from this equation so v1 would be equal to rt1 by p1 uh, make sure again sorry for the thing like uh, it is air in a cylinder so that means like we are using the ideal gas equation and obviously for air the um, R value for air would be 0 0.27 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So V1 is equal to R1 T1 divided by P1. So you can find the volume specific volume, which is 1.10947. For that specific volume, if you if you divide the total volume by the specific volume, you can find the mass. So the mass in a cylinder of the air in a cylinder would be 0 0.360532 kg. Now, so that mean like we were not able, we were not actually interested in the initial state, but obviously we need to find out the volume which would be needed in a next uh, part. So now we have got P2, V2 is equal to R P2. So that's it. Say like find the temperature when the piston reaches the stop. So what we have to do, like we have to find the V2 now. So we can find V2 by total V2 which is actually now at the height of one meter, multiply by the area. So, and then obviously we have got the total volume. Total volume divided by mass would be equal to the specific volume V2 now. So we have got the specific volume now. As I said, like for in a, in a initial, uh, from initial condition to state two, we would be initial condition to state two. Um, the piston was moving freely. So that means like, uh, uh, pressure remain constant so p1 would be equal to p2 and that is equal to 600 sorry not 600 200 kilopascal so that is 200 kpa so 200 kilopascal now so putting them them value pressure value volume value which is over here in this equation and you would be able to find t2 so that t2 is 386.575 calvin now moving forward to third one we say like the temperature now would be t3 would be now 20 degrees centigrade find the final pressure so obviously if you keep the piston constant over here and if you keep the temperature uh, or, or, or moving the temperature downward so there would be change in the pressure uh, and obviously the volume remain constant the the um, temperature is uh, getting cool and so the pressure would be changing now so p3 would be equal to now uh, t3 divided by v3 volume again in terms of specific so p2 uh, sorry p3 now sorry so that mean like t3 is given 20 degrees centigrade convert into the calvin uh, volume v3 volume v3 is equal to v2 anyway so that mean like we have to find volume v3 um, and then obviously uh, R is there, so we can find P3, which is 151.665 kilopascal. I hope you understand that point. Uh, if you have got any question, you can post it in the classroom, and definitely I would be able to answer that one. Thank you very much. Have a nice time.